Hi Leo, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. <clears throat> this is going to be for anybody with Leo placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles, take what resonates, leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you guys so much for your love, your support, your donations, and <clears throat> booking your personals with me. Sending you a lot of love and lights and happiness to you on your journeys. <clears throat> Something's going on. <laughs> okay, it's a little congested. Like, right, what the fuck? I can't stand it, guys, but I'm cool. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I'm going to post on my community tab um, whether or not I'm going to continue doing my personal readings or not. I'm leaning more towards no, just because, guys, I, my soul is not calling me to do <clears throat> personals anymore. Okay, so I'm probably, you know, going to stop doing them. But for the ones of you that have booked already, <clears throat> just give me time to send you guys' readings out, okay? But yeah, I'm probably not going to do any more personal, so hopefully you guys are not mad. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> I don't, you know, I can't do something that Spirit is not telling me to do. So, um, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other social media platforms okay <clears throat> so let's see spirit guides angels ancestors ascended masters gods and goddesses please return any spell work and dark magic that is sense of harm leo and their loved ones me and my loved ones returning back to the sender block any interferences that could be stopped from the messages from coming through clear concise and precise messages for my leo collective and protect me as i channel the messages <clears throat> for leo should have got me some juice. I want some juice, but I have water right there, so I'm not gonna be picky. I'm just gonna drink what's right there. So let's see. Okay, so it says, "What a mess!" In reverse, clean it up. Mistake. <clears throat> okay, so somebody here can't clean up something that they did. Okay, or automatically when I got this, I got that somebody don't regret what they did. Like, they, they meant what they did. <laughs> okay, let's see what the fuck shit is, is going on here. Okay, we got happiness, prosperity, conclusions. We got blown away, amazed, unexpected, and reverse. And memories, the past, nostalgia. <laughs> It's like somebody, <clears throat> wow, abundance, love. It's like somebody's um behavior is, unpre I mean, it's like predictable. It's like, wow, I'm not surprised, you know, that you're like that or because you're, lo you're a loser, you're a lame. So I'm, I'm, I'm already knowing how you're moving. <laughs> it's kind of like what I'm getting with this. This is, okay, real nonchalant energy. <clears throat> mm, the Empress, bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra, a Taurus. <clears throat> Let's see what this is about. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm not throw itch. What's what a mess here in reverse? <clears throat> the Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries. Could be Aries Leo Sage. What's what a mess in reverse? Uh oh. <clears throat> okay, Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, either a Queen of Wands in reverse can't clean up something. There could have been a mistake that was made or somebody did some stupid shit and now they want to say it's a mistake, but I mean, it is what it is, right? So, either this Queen of Wands in reverse has done something that they can't clean up or somebody, somebody in, uh, that's has something to do with you, Leo is um 
dealing with this Queen of Wands in reverse and they can't get rid of this bitch. <laughs> that's probably what's happening. The Queen of Wands in reverse is definitely somebody that's like lazy. They're really codependent. They're dramatic. They're loud. Okay. They like to argue, fight, bicker. Very hot tempered. Uncontrollable behavior. They could be really dark. Okay. Just a mess. Mm -hmm. they're, they're a mess. They're jealous. They're competitive. Like... Somebody here could be asking somebody for some money or something. Somebody's jealous about something. What's this? What's this Queen of Wands in reverse show? Okay, the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> so this could be somebody here dark. This could be somebody competing with you at work, Leo, for some of you. Or just period. Like this could be a cousin, mama, sister, brother, uncle you know auntie whatever the fuck but there's a bitch here that's jealous of you okay i feel like they're targeting you here <laughs> somebody here could put on like a glamour this queen of wands could do like glamour magic or something to like cloak their energy or hide how they look or somebody could be doing some sort of spell work to make themselves appear as something that they're not Okay. With the Queen of Pentacles over top of this Queen of Wands in reverse, somebody's a hoe. But they're trying to act like they're really like they're not hoeing or they're they're not promiscuous or anything like that. They are. But if this is about work, this person could be competing with you at work. Like the Queen of Pentacles, you could work from home or you could have, you know, you could have your own business, you could work in your own shop or something, or you could just have a really, really good job or you're doing something that you really love to do and it's bringing you in a lot of stability and security and so somebody feels like one two three on the clock they, they need to compete with you this could be two you could be a white witch here with the queen of pentacles this could be a dark witch it's queen of wands in reverse and they're trying to get to some sort of offer this ace of pentacles or something but it's not theirs. I'm pretty sure it's not. What's this Queen of Wands in reverse? Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Another woman here. Queen of Swords. I mean, this Queen of Swords could be you. You could be very discerning about a situation. Like, you have some sort of clarity about what's going on, what somebody is doing, and okay you could speak out for work here you could be communicating or you could be in communications or something like that for some of you this is like your family bro this is like your mother and your sister okay What the fuck? I, I feel like people are trying to like use you here, Leo. Like they, they want to use you because they see you on the come up here. What the fuck? Honestly, that's what I'm getting. Now, I mean, I don't know. Let, let's see. Let, let's just see what's going on here. There could be a woman here that wants to talk to you or they have something to say. Let's see. What's the Queen of Swords? I feel like you're being cold towards somebody because it's just like you already know what they, they up to or the games that they play. Somebody here is jealous. What's the Queen of Swords? Child, please. The sun. Yeah, I feel like you're exposing something. If this is you or somebody mama going to expose something or somebody's mother is exposed or you exposing your own damn mama or this is a bitch here that is like, like it could be anything. Like this could be, like say if you have an ex, this is their wife or their ex or some weird shit like that. I don't know. You could be dealing with another Leo with the sun. What's the, yeah, the five of wands. What's the queen of swords with the sun? Okay, yeah, four of cups. <clears throat> Cancer, um, moon. Yeah, like, I feel like you are, for some of you guys, you're ignoring a masculine energy or you're in your masculine energy and just, like, you're taking back your power. You have inner confidence. You're you're at peace. You're happy with the sun. I feel like somebody is discontent with what you're saying. 
okay what you're exposing because you are enlightened here the queen of swords is very intelligent they're discerning and i feel like they're not going to play their, their standards are high they have their sword up and i feel like this person is very truthful very honest okay like this could be you or this could be i don't know as we go you know i'll be putting the pieces together <laughs> okay but i'm saying though like somebody is saying that you're happy with cutting their ass off you're just fine you're gonna stay like that so this queen of wands i mean it's like people are trying to get some sort of information out of you too it's like they're trying to see what you know bitch everything i know everything every damn thing you want to know what i know it's everything <laughs> what's the queen of pentacles <laughs> the six of swords yeah this is like you're moving forward like you don't I feel like you're moving in a peaceful and calm of water. Some of you guys are on vacation or you're getting ready to be going on one. You're traveling. You're moving about. You're going down the path that, that spirit wants you to go down. Okay. But this is you moving forward peacefully and you're healing. You're making progress on your journey. This could be like your spirit team guiding you somewhere or whatever. You're just moving forward. Especially when it comes down to your stability, security, your money and everything. Like, what's the fuck? What's the Queen of Pentacles with the Six of Swords? want to have an Aquarius Mercury okay yeah look at this King of Pentacles in reverse <laughs> what for some of you somebody is like um trying to exploit you here Or they saying certain things about you to this queen of wands in reverse. And I feel like you, you're exposing what the fuck is going on here. I feel like you're very enlightened and you have your guards up. You're ignoring somebody. Somebody has missed an opportunity with you. And I, and I feel like you're moving on from this king of pentacles in reverse. Like this person here is a loser. They're broke. They're a slob. They're a bum. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You can have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your chart too, Leo. So this could be somebody you got a divorce from or it's just like, that's not your match. You don't want to be with them. Whether you've been with them in the past or not, it's like it's over. You're moving on literally and genuinely and sincerely. <laughs> like You don't want to have shit to do with them. So so it's like, it's like there could be people here, Leo. Somebody is trying to give someone advice like, yeah, bro, or sis, like it's time for you to move on, like let it go stop trying to get this person back or leave them alone or stop fucking with them or something like that you know because it's like it's getting old bitch it is because we shit i know we tired of hearing about this shit right leo like we don't want to hear about the shit no more we tired of you bitches keep fucking around like move the fuck on so this could be somebody mama telling some telling this king of pentacles to like move on or let the girl go it's like i'm hearing a conversation in my head you need to let that girl go oh <laughs> you need to let that boy or man go or whatever yeah, because somebody's being stupid. Five of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is trying to get someone to like bully you at your workplace or they're trying to intimidate you. Maybe to take your focus off of work or something or a commitment. I feel like you master how to deal with whatever this Five of Swords energy is. It's like, bitch, two can play that game. Because in the end, you're going to be looking stupid, not me. <laughs> That's for sure. Who, <clears throat> excuse me. Who does King of Pentacles? Who the King of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, the tower. Yeah, something. I feel like something is coming out about this person. It's being exposed. I don't know if this is their bitch, but their bitch is mad at you because you're exposing something about probably both of their stupid asses. Because that, that Queen of Swords, I'm kind of like getting your energy too. Like, it's like, yeah, bitch, I'm exposing you. I see what's going on. I'm not stupid, dumb, or slow. And then it's like this Queen of Swords also could be like the mother. It's like a mother getting in the middle of... um. A connection like say you're i mean you and this person are the exes right you done broke up with this person you're moving forward and this person here is steady on your line you know what i'm saying and this they got a queen of wands around them that's just like well why her and it's just like well bitch what do you mean <laughs> like why not me what the fuck i wish it wasn't me i wish it was you <laughs> like what the fuck i wish this whoever this king of pentacles is chooses you so they can leave me the fuck alone it's kind of like what i'm getting you know what i'm saying it's just like you know whatever but the tower aries scorpio 
Okay, something is blowing up. Something is coming out. And I feel like you're now moving into peaceful, calmer waters. For some of you, somebody here is losing their stability, their home, and shit like that. Like, shit has hit the fan. There's, there's chaos going on somewhere. So I feel like, what, this Queen of Wands is trying to help this King of Pentacles get their stability back together and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It doesn't look like that's happening, so... I don't know what you bitches are going to do. Yeah, confirmation that it's not happening. <laughs> yeah, the death card. Extra confirmation. <laughs> the extra confirmation that it's not happening. So, all right. What's the Ace of Pentacles? No. Looks like you bitches are up. Shit's creep without a paddle. <laughs> okay. Like, what's, what's the Ace of Pentacles? I'm sick of seeing these people. Yeah, the Seven of Cubs. What's the Ace of Pentacles? Seven of Cubs. Scorpio Venus here. We got Leo Jupiter with the Six of Wands. Oh. So somebody feels like you're the cause of why their why their stability is fucked up. It's because you rejected an offer. Oh, okay. So you have a leech here. You have somebody that's trying to leech off your energy. I feel like you're well aware of what this person is doing to you. And so you reject the day offer. This King of Pentacles has run out of some sort of power. They don't have the power to be able to manifest what it is that they want or need. So they could be using the Queen of Wands to try to do it. They could be doing like some sort of magic on you to, to fuck with your finances on Leo. Okay, I'm also getting, there could be like a group of people or a crowd of people that's like, I don't know if they look up to these people or what, but it's like they're confused. Okay, seven of cups, six of wands. They're like confused. It's like, well, bro, I thought you the one that had it or I thought you got it like that. What happened, bitch? <laughs> what happened, bitch? Same shit that been going on, Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Uh, what? It's like this is annoying. What's uh what's the um somebody here is confused about how you won or how you have this confidence or how you have this victory and success. You know what I'm saying? It's like how are you doing what you're doing? What's the seven of it's cause you're a good person, that's why. Like bitch, it's not hard. When you're a good person, you you manifest good shit. I mean, you bitches are acting stupid or weird or slow. Like, you don't know what's going on. Like, if you're, if you're a mean person, then you're not going to have much. And the little bit that you do have, you're going to lose that too. What's the seven of cups? I don't understand. Yeah, the ten of wands. Okay. Sagittarius, Saturn. What's the six of swords? I mean, six of wands. You guys will be saying six, six, six. What's the six of wands? The five of pentacles. Oh, I feel like this Queen of Wands in reverse is mad as hell at you, Leo. <laughs> they are mad at you because this King of Pentacles, I'm getting a whole bunch of stories, so just bear with me. But this King of Pentacles here with the tower, the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Swords, I feel like this King of Pentacles could be moving on from this Queen of Wands. I feel like they're together. Okay. But that little duo is over because it was fake anyway. It was built on a faulty foundation. This bitch was probably, they was try, probably trying to manifest energy from you. And bitch, it backfired. It didn't fucking work because you see it. With the Queen of Swords and the Sun. And they're rejected. So now this Queen of Wands is like, bitch, well, you done fucked up my money. Because I, I was relying on this King of Pentacles to take care of me. Queen of Wands in reverse. They're promiscuous. They, they have low self-esteem. They're lazy. They If they got kids, I just heard somebody, if they got kids, they don't take care of their fucking kids. Like, they put everything on this King of Pentacles in reverse, and now this bitch don't have anything. <laughs> they don't have nothing to help this bitch do anything. So now they're targeting you. They mad as hell. And it's like, oh, well, bitch. Y'all bitches are fucking trash. Like, I'm serious. Yeah, they mad at you. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles and a Five of Swords. You, okay. <clears throat> you could have a successful, like, business, okay? You're stable. You're secure. You're living the life that a lot of you bitches wish that you had jealous ass people like i don't get it 
But this, they mad as hell at you. They targeting you now because it's like, well, you know, I'm trying to use this King of Pentacles. And this King of Pentacles is just stupid as fuck. They just do whatever bitches say. They they stupid. They're like a people pleaser. And then they, they go as low to like extort you or exploit you or something like that. To make a bitch comfortable or happy. And then it still don't work out in the end. I feel like that shit is falling apart. Somebody here is going through poverty. Somebody's getting ready to go through poverty. I feel like it's something that this King of Pentacles told this Queen of Wands about you that's not true. <laughs> and I just feel like you're moving on with your life. Like, you don't have no points to prove. Because clearly, the point has been proven. And it's the simple fact that, bitch, this King of Pentacles is losing everything because of why. They're a fucking loser. They deserve to lose everything. And you deserve to move on with your life. So, I don't know what the fuck this Queen of Wands problem is. It's like, bitch, get a job. You need to be flipped upright because you need to be a good bitch and not a bitter bitch. Be a better bitch. <laughs> okay? Like... Don't be bitter, be better. Somebody here trying to target you over what? Because they ain't got nobody to take care of them. It's just like, girl, get the fuck out of here. What else? The struggle is real, okay? Like, somebody is struggling. Just period. Yeah, four of pentacles. Somebody penny pinching and all that. Ten of wands is somebody struggling. They got too much responsibility. They tired or whatever. Yeah, truth. Ace of swords. The empress. The nine of pentacles. So, anyways... What's happiness here for Leo? People funny. Yeah, judgment. <laughs> What's happiness with the judgment? <laughs> the temperance, child. Look at all these. Every time I see the cards come out like that, the temperance, the lovers. When I see the temperance, the lovers, the judgment with all these angel wings, child. This is a lot of protection. Oh, I'm shaking the hell out of my table. Two, 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 two on the timer. Why am I table shaking like that? Uh, I guess because it's touching the thing. But yeah, like I get a lot of protection here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius, Leo. So I feel like, you know, if these people were after you, I feel like you're being vindicated from something. If they were like trying to start drama or whatever. With the judgment here, I feel like... Um, You're making a decision to move forward. I'm getting something about a family member, though. Like, yeah, this King of Pentacles, you can have kids with them or whatever. That's family. But sadly, <laughs> but I'm getting like a sister or something or something about a sister, a jealous ass sister. Like, OK, whatever. But anyways, the judgment with the temperance, I feel like you have forgiven this person or you've forgiven a lot of people and you're just moving on. You're healing, you're balanced. Okay, the divine has stepped in and I feel like how you handled the situation, you handled it with grace. I mean, you could have been a bitch. You could have really cursed these stupid ass people out and then gave them a run for their money, but you didn't. It's just like, why? This is why you're winning and they're losing because they resort to being revengeful or spiteful confirmation or just like just negative for no fucking reason or just they're just losers they broke they ain't got shit going on with their life and this is why they, they getting ready to lose whatever else they had ace of wands ace of cups five of wands two of cups child somebody in competition with you about your new beginnings a new relationship or what's uh so the judgment judgment too could talk about like an awakening okay let's see what's the judgment The Knight of Swords with the High Priestess. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Pisces. I feel like you're really making a lot of your moves in silence, okay? You have some big changes coming through. 
big changes are coming in there's a need for you to think quick on your feet because you know i just feel like you're transforming there's a lot that's going on so spirit is, is bringing in shit moving shit out the way for you so you can go after your manifestations knight of swords i feel like somebody too has been trying to attack like your psyche okay Who does Knight of Swords? Because somebody, somebody here could be rushing in to you for like forgiveness. Somebody wants you to forgive them or give them a second chance or whatever. Let me see though. What's the Knight of Swords? Or you have a second chance at just... Okay, wow. The Ten of Pentacles. Let's see. Or this was somebody trying to attack. Yeah, and they said because they couldn't do it. What's the Knight of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles? Three of Wands. Yeah, this is what's, what's coming in. Three of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles, a lot of money in this motherfucker, period. Like, a lot of money, okay, a lot of wealth, as in spiritual wealth, just happiness, pure joy. Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, whatever. I feel like some of y'all could definitely be getting ready to get married, start a family. Um, this is a lot of prosperity and abundance coming in, though. I feel like, too, you've cleared out some sort of ancestral-like karma, some of y'all could be definitely moving or traveling or I feel like you're focused on a goal and it's getting to the center of pentacles, whether it be y'all, you know, your goal is to get married and have more children or your, or your goal is to make more money and have a, a build an empire, build a legacy, start a business. Okay. Or both your goals are, you're nearly there or you are there already. Someone could be an Aries sun. I feel like you're ambitious. You're driven to get somewhere, to do something. I feel like somebody's, I don't know. They see, they, they like you growing too damn fast. <laughs> the three of wands is definitely growth expansion. It's feeling self-assured about moving forward. I feel like your gifts are getting stronger too. They really are. With the three of wands and the high priestess, I'm just getting like your sense of foresight is heightened. Like you could see way past the veil now like you can really see people for who they are okay or see see through situations at this point what's the high priestess just getting ready to say that shit somebody could be paying a high priestess to see into something <laughs> i was just getting ready to say that the death card the eight of cups <laughs> someone could be a taurus moon i'm definitely getting though equal give and take reciprocity there could be a gift coming through or you are the gift period that's why people are attacking you and felt like they can come up against you in some sort of way but the High Priestess with the Six of Pentacles, some of you guys definitely... Okay, wow, yeah, look at the gift. The Hierophant and the damn Nine of Cups. Yeah, and the Hermit and your damn Masculine, yeah. And the, wow, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Emperor. <laughs> That's the gift, and people are fighting about that shit. Because people look stupid. They should have just, you know, sat back and shut the fuck up. That's easy to do. Like, you bitches... Y'all don't like doing that, though. Y'all like to look stupid. Especially in my readings. Y'all really like to look dumb. I'm going to call you out. So, yeah, you've overcame this ton of swords energy, this hex, this curse, this obstacle, whatever it is, you overcame it. And somebody thought you was going to be weak like them. <laughs> yeah, the same shit they put you through, they could never make it through. And that's the thing. It's like you bitches, y'all need to start handing out shit that you know that you can get through. If you really want a real competition you need to fucking stop doing shit to other people that you know if it came back on you you wouldn't be able to handle it you're weak as fuck weak <laughs> okay let me see what's the high priestess with the six of pentacles so i feel like spirit is definitely handing you a gift yeah look at that what i said i told you i bro i should have said that shit when it came across my damn mind <laughs> I'm telling you, bruh, the magician here in reverse, I told you, like, I feel like whatever this magic is, though, somebody is definitely 
um, helping you to understand your gifts a lot more and helping you to understand the kind of attacks in order to help yourself heal and for you to help heal others. Because I feel like you have this gift where you actually do help the community heal. Okay, you're a high priestess. Okay, and I feel like you have you have a gift. Ten of Pentacles with the high priestess is something that your spirit team, your ancestors, your guides, whatever has passed down to you in this lifetime for you to, you know what I'm saying, use to help guide other people. So somebody here could have could be paying somebody to do magic on you. Or somebody this would be somebody in your family. That's what I'm saying. For some of you, somebody is like really close to you. I don't know. A sister. I don't know why I keep getting a sister. I need to pull on that. That shit is strong. It's coming out. I'll, I'll do it at the end, but the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, yeah, somebody's like paying somebody to do something, or somebody got paid to do something, to be a trickster, conniving, cunning, a thief, whatever the fuck their little trick is, that they thought that was going to work, whatever it is. I don't know. <laughs> What's the temperance, child? nine of swords what's the temperance with the nine of swords the four of pentacles in reverse yeah everything is balanced out now bitch because people are getting ready to lose a lot a lot of things people are losing of value four of pentacles in reverse like people losing shit definitely money uh, cars homes family members i mean they ain't got nobody to help support their ass i don't know but Somebody here is a thief. Four of Pentacles. So, so somebody here is, is nervous about something that they stole with their partner. Three of Pentacles. King of Swords. Ace of Wands. Hmm. Somebody here nervous about losing some shit or or they trying to steal something that they can't fucking steal. They trying to do magic to do it or they actually doing this in front of your face. Like, I don't know, but I feel like they don't got that, that much balls though. Like they don't got the balls to do that. So nine times out of 10, it's probably magic for some of you. <laughs> like they don't even have the balls. Yeah, the will of fortune, the justice and the devil. Yeah, it's karma. It's time to fucking pay up. What's the nine of swords? Gemini Mars, what's the nine of swords? Y'all embarrassing. Knight of Cups. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> What's this Four of Pentacles in reverse? Someone could be a Capricorn Sun. <clears throat> yeah. You know, they gonna have, somebody gonna have to pay out a lot <clears throat> or pay up a lot on something. They don't have to pay up. It's like, bitch, give it back. That's what that's what this is. Somebody here is getting ready to lose a lot, man. Things are balancing out. I feel like somebody want to apologize to you. But, bitch, I feel like you don't want it and you don't care. Somebody here is so nervous about who you're dating <clears throat> that they felt like they can try to ruin your relationships or ruin your, your stability, your security, or your persons, or stop you from gaining... Um, victory and success with your finances and, and, and your business or whatever and i feel like you know now they ass up here struggling and things are fluctuating up and down up and down i feel like they have more bad days than they do good and it's getting ready to get worse too somebody here lost someone of value and it's you because you're protected and i feel like they're thieves They've been stealing from you. So either they've been doing it in your face or they've been going behind your back doing magic, stealing shit without you knowing. Doing some sort of magic, paying for some shit to get stolen from you in order to help their little situation out. I feel like this too does, I feel like this has something to do with who you're dating too. Because for some of you guys, you're with a counterpart. The higher for keep poking out, we got the high priestess here. 
So it's like you're with a counterpart for some of you. So definitely when two counterparts come together, yeah, the Empress and the, the Eight of Wands and the Hierophant, yeah, all that sending the spell work or whatever. Or this could be like a group sending, sending you some sort of spell work to like your fertility, your abundance. Okay, Ten of Swords, the Hermit. It could be a Virgo, a Gemini Sun or whatever. Yeah, trying they're right in the middle of, of you and your person. The Empress, the Ten of Swords, the, the Hermit and the damn Emperor. It's like somebody just wants to be in the middle of some shit. They have to be in the middle of something. <laughs> somebody here could be trying to send spell work to someone's womb. Somebody doing like womb magic or they're trying to do some sort of death magic to, to put an ending to some sort of fame, success, victory. Okay, uh, comfortability. Uh, this could be though... Pregnancy, marriage, nine of cups. Somebody's trying to cause a heartbreak. They want something to come to a complete end. So, okay. I feel like we're blown away in reverse. Amazing, unexpected. There's something here that you already know. Maybe you feel it intuitively. So something is not a, something is not a big, you know, surprise for some of you. Let's see. Let's see if it's good or bad. It was blown away in reverse. <laughs> yeah, the Emperor. Okay. Aries. It was blown away with the Emperor. <laughs> the King of Wands. We got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands up here. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, maybe it's... <clears throat> you could be dealing with a Leo, another Leo. Just acting like a damn fool. There is something that's... Your intuition already knows something about a particular situation. But maybe you haven't gotten too clear on it about who's who and what's what. Let's see. I feel like you're also learning the difference between a catalyst twin and a real twin. Okay, for those of you that know, you know. Okay, I wrote about catalyst twin flames on my channel. So if, you have a, if you're in a twin flame connection, this could resonate for you. Even if you're not, I mean, some parts of it still does. But I'm just getting this king of wands is like a catalyst. So they could either be a catalyst twin or they're a damn karmic. Karmics are catalysts too, but catalyst twins are different from karmic soulmates. You need to go look up the two. Okay, they are. Um, let's see. Who this King of Wands right here? Yeah, two of swords. Somebody that kept you stuck. You had to make a hard decision. You had to choose between two masculines for some of you. I feel like I'm speaking to a divine feminine. What's the king of wands with the two of swords? Something here definitely had you stuck. And this king of wands is relating to that queen of wands up there. Yeah, it's like a group of these bitches. It's a group. This king of pentacles here, they, that used to be your ex for sure. I feel like this queen of pentacles is you. This king of pentacles here used to be your ex, right? I feel like they're trying to move into peaceful, calmer waters and stop what they're doing. They want to stop attacking you now because the tower, their shit is blowing up. So they, they don't want to attack you no more, right? The, this bitch here could have paid this queen of wands, king of wands couple, whatever this is. And this king of wands is somebody you knew too. You were dealing with them at one point or whatever. They had you stuck because we have a real divine masculine and we have a fake one right here. Or one that had potential to be a divine masculine, but they fell from grace okay or whatever the fuck they chose a side and the queen of wands in reverse is who they chose at some point i don't know but they could have paid this dark witch here this queen of wands to do something dark to you or to it's like they made some sort of pact with this person i don't know without this king of wands knowing or the king of wands was in on it but they definitely had you stuck though okay what's this uh what's this king of wands right here two of swords I'm hearing somebody's a sellout here. <laughs> okay, what's the King of Wands, Two of Swords? Someone could have a Libra Moon. Uh, 
Oh, the Ace of Swords. True for what I just said. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So the Ace of Swords is like clarity, truth. <clears throat> A aha moment so you could be having some sort of epiphany or like some sort of truth is here you got some sort of truth what's this what's the two of swords let me see or it's coming because it's something it's gonna be like yeah i already knew but blown away in reverse it's like yeah you know i already knew that so it's something that you already know it's not too amazing or surprising to you or it's not unexpected it's like yeah i already expected that coming from this bitch or these hoes or whatever it's just like you already know. What's Ace of Swords? Yeah, Three of Swords. Mm. Okay, yeah, something completely ended between you and this person. This King of Wands was a person that you met that had the potential to be a masculine. You're a divine masculine. They probably are a divine masculine, but they're somebody else's. Okay, they're not your actual person you're meant to be with. Okay, but they were they they know about something about this group effort to bring you down or steal something from you or stop you from being able to manifest by doing this whack ass magic or whatever the shit is. So the two of swords is somebody having anxiety or they worried. The truth is though that there's like this ex friend or this could be a family member or your ex like your actual lover like your romantic partner your ex has done something maybe this king of wands sees it or they know it now or something like that did i clarify this two of swords with the three of swords yeah i think i did because i had it over the ace of swords I feel like, honestly, guys, this King of Wands right here, there's something about them that I keep picking on, right? They were blinded. This person didn't know how to choose because of a broken heart. Their heart chakra is closed. They've been broken hearted for so long that they're not healed, for one. They're in their ego still. So for some of you, this was a plot, right? This is somebody that you dated in the past. Okay, this is like a catalyst whether it's a catalyst twin or not, but it's somebody specific that you dated that probably was in and out or they didn't treat you the best, okay? Because I feel like somebody paid someone to put magic on this person to cause you heartbreak. You get what I'm saying? Like that that's what happened, that's what they did. And stop this connection from coming together. And now I feel like this queen of wands in reverse, cause this queen of wands in reverse is probably this masculine. This king of wands is ex. all right mm. or they bitch that they was fucking around with that's dark and evil and nasty and this king of wands either they knew it and they was in on this shit or they didn't and the spell work that this queen of wands was using on this king of wands they didn't they just didn't realize it and i feel like whoever this king of pentacles is right here that's related to you could be your ex your daddy whoever the fuck they hired this person to do magic because they, they this queen of wands here in reverse is doing magic on this king of wands in order to block them and somehow y'all date it's like they got sent to you or something like that but really it's god that did it bitch it's not you didn't do anything you were guided to send this king of wands to you divine feminine divine masculine so that way you can awaken that this was a test okay it was it was like guided it was divinely guided for this to happen in this way because spirit already know what your story is written like like it's already written out just like these bitches are getting ready to experience really bad karma for doing this shit anyways it was all written for you to set these people up they, they got set up by you really and god they really thought they was doing something smart by doing this and it didn't work okay what's the ace of swords somebody got paid to do something to a high priestess to attack you they were on a mission knight of swords and this was somebody's test and I feel like they failed it. You didn't because you awakened in time and got protected. But somebody else did not. And I feel like it's this person, this King of Wands. And now this Queen of Wands is just jealous. Now they're just attacking you just because it's like, well, bitch, 
nobody takes the bad witch out, bitch, you're getting taken out. <laughs> like you are not, you are, you are not that great at whatever you're doing, bitch. You're weak as fuck. Your magic is weak as fuck. Go try that shit. Go, go do that shit. Some go do it on your fucking self. Don't even do it on nobody else. Do it on yourself. Do it on your fucking self to fucking obtain. Do some good magic on yourself to manifest. You bitches are lazy. And you want to use dark magic to get everything. You don't want to get up and work or nothing. You're just stupid. And and hoes. What's the ace of swords? <laughs> What's the ace of swords? Wow. Yeah, nine of cups. Okay. What's the ace of swords with the nine of cups? Yeah, somebody here came up with some sort of bright ideas like aha i got a plan or i'm brainstorming what's the nine of cups with the nine with the ace of swords i'm gonna confuse her or him about her or his divine masculine yeah the king of cups for some of you this is your, this is your spirit guide because you've been going through warfare nine of cups and you had to break free the fool from somebody from your past this whole this whole thing was orchestrated for you to break free from somebody from your past it's somebody from your past that's been throwing the rock and hiding their hand because it's definitely this bitch right here they getting exposed for sure it's this king of pentacles asshole in reverse with this tower okay they got all these dark people to come against you to attack you because you just you know what i'm saying you don't want to be with this broke ass that's why that's exactly why and so they felt some kind of way they did and this king of cups here is your spirit guide i feel like they've been protecting you you being comfortable happy secure it's like your spirit team has to have has been having you to focus on whatever is important this shit ain't important so i feel like as long as you stay focused on your journey nothing could work there's literally nothing that they could do to attack you or bring you down because you've been following your spirit team this whole time and they've been following you and protecting you this whole fucking time so now that the truth is out here okay Somebody's like heartbroken. I feel like it's this King of Wands. Because that's definitely somebody you dealt with in the past at some point on your journey, on your healing journey, whatever. And I feel like it could have been like genuine or something. But this person is still in their ego. And I feel like they were blinded by some sort of spell work because they're not healing. So, I mean, they would, that, like I said, either way, even if they wasn't under attack, that, that wouldn't be your person because they're not healing. They're not, y'all not on the same wavelength. The same frequency. It's just like you need an emperor. What's the emperor right here, man? I feel like somebody too is blocked. This king of wands too could be shape shifting because they could be this king of pentacles as well. But I feel like, you know, if, if this was somebody else, this person, if they was having sex with this promiscuous ass hoe that's probably a succubus and they got demons attached to their raggedy ass vagina, then if you were having sex with this king of wands at some point, they attached something to you here, Leo, which could have been causing a blockage as well. Like your sacral energy could have been blocked or something like that because you were attaching to whoever this king of wands is. <clears throat> and this king of wands, yeah, it was in and out. Knight of wands, three of cups. They were being sacrificed the whole time. And everything that they were trying to obtain was being put to an end automatically just because of the fact that they are, they're fucking on this damn dirty hoe that's jealous of you. You, you see what I'm saying? So it's this, is, this was a setup though. Like this was a setup for sure. Okay, what's the emperor? The moon. What's under here? Oh, the four pentacles in reverse. Cancer energy. What's the emperor with the moon spirit? Yeah, this was like hidden. This was like some sort of hidden or secret path to your emperor. I swear. Yeah, the will. It was written like this. It was faded because you needed to do your shadow work. Yeah, to defeat this devil energy. If you didn't do your shadow work to defeat whatever this is, you wouldn't have got to your emperor no way. Okay, so this was like really divinely orchestrated for you to be spiritually initiated or pass these tests in order for you to level up in your purpose. Literally, that's really what this relationship was. Or some of y'all going through this shit right now. Hopefully, it's helping. Okay, hopefully, you don't get stuck. Because, I mean, I feel like we all get stuck somewhere. So, you probably are stuck. That's probably why you're watching Tarot. <laughs> when I was stuck, I started watching Tarot. Or, when did I start watching Tarot? 
yeah when i when i was dealing with my catalyst twin here this king of wands person that's why i, I feel i feel the energy is relatable and i have wisdom so hopefully i can let y'all know what's going on if, especially if you're on a twin flame journey but when i was stuck and i didn't know what was going on and i started fucking with tarot i'm like you know i need to figure out what's up because this shit right here is not it <laughs> I, I don't know what this is and i was trying to get away from this king of pentacles type person in reverse but I didn't know that that's what I was doing because I didn't know this King of Pentacles in reverse was that nasty or malicious, but they are. <laughs> okay, and they hit it for a long time. So I started watching it and then I became, then I seen that Tarot was a, my purpose. So I'm like, okay, cool. I brought my first deck and it just went from there. So this Catalyst Twin really pushed you into like really self-love, healing, growing spiritually. It's like some sort of like initiation twin. Like they, they help you. It's not like, a, I feel like, People, there's a lot of misconceptions about twin flames and all the components. There's so many missing components. Nobody really talks about the depth of the journey. And that's why nobody really understands what's going on. Because people, like I just saw on my Twitter the other day, twin flames aren't real. What? <laughs> like, what the fuck you mean? You just, you just don't have one then. Whatever. Uh, you know. But, yeah, it's just like... So something like that could be happening with you. Or if it's not a twin, it's just somebody you dealt with or whatever. And they you know was used to like do something to you child yeah ten of swords what to hurt the empress to curse and hex the empress to report back to this group or whatever and come back with an offer child that's what i'm saying it feel like that it's uh, <clears throat> i can't talk to you some sort of like um sexual interaction here it's like it's like if this queen of wands was sleeping with this king of wands this king of wands would go back home to this bitch and this bitch would consult this king of pentacles in reverse and they'll probably have sex with each other and it's some sort of transference of energy somebody's like doing some sort of sex magic it's a ritual that these people do it's a ritual and uh you just didn't know i guess we'll see i'm praying the moon <laughs> People crazy, child. I'm telling you. They really go out their way. Yeah, they, they will. I told you. It's faded for you to find true love within yourself. Once you did that, boom, your emperor's showing up. For some of you, with this person already. This is a secret path to your emperor. And they thought, I don't know if they, these people thought that, because they're so stupid. They probably don't really know much about that. I don't know if this high priestess that they've been paying does. But, uh, you know, they, I don't know. You could have thought this was your real twin. It's not. I feel like they were supposed to help you. They did it thanks for the help you know i mean whatever but this was definitely some sort of secret path to your your destiny your fortune your your blessings your good luck your whatever you want to call it for sure so yeah you won you got some sort of victory now you can rest because you're in union four of wands and you're celebrating and Everything is going how it's supposed to go. And these people are blocked now. Seven of Wands. Because you're going to be completely happy. Ten of Cups. You're getting karmic justice. You're going to be in a marriage union. Having kids. Whatever the fuck you, you dream of is yours. Uh, just period. So, okay. What's uh memories, the past, nostalgia? So now somebody thinking or reminiscing or whatever. Yeah, the Hermit. Virgo here. This could be you reflecting. Okay, and just trying to because you're you're trying to probably purge the energy or whatever, hopefully. But what's memories, the past, nostalgia? Somebody, yeah, okay, yeah. Look, the Eight of Swords and the the Hermit. Somebody could have a mental disorder, and I'm I, my eyes went straight here to this King of Pentacles in reverse. The hermit with the eight of swords so somebody here could need a psychiatrist literally with these two cards coming out like this somebody could be under investigation because they're going to prison or they're going to spiritual jail they know they're going to hell or jail either in the 3d especially jail in the 3d i mean you know parts of this world that we live in i already feel like it's hell <laughs> okay honestly i feel like when you don't pass some sort of test you kind of get sent somewhere where you have to like redo and to me it kind of like feels like hell i don't know i'm reading my book that i have about like death and things like the afterlife i'm really studying now guys well i've been studying clearly but it's like i want to get into more reading and things like that this year for sure carving out time to do things like that because you know knowledge is power but yeah it's like somebody here and i don't 
really say that too because there's so much killing and nasty shit going on in the world it's like we're in the midst of it right so what is it it's it's like it's like we're already in hell kind of <laughs> but i feel like you have to create heaven on earth you know while we're here you have to create a heaven for yourself so if you're not learning i mean you're gonna just experience hell like you know what i'm saying something like that but hopefully you get what i'm saying hopefully i'm not sounding crazy but um yeah somebody here tripping gemini jupiter what's the hermit two of cups mm, what's the hermit with the two of cups the queen of cups <clears throat> yeah so this could be happening in the present we have the queen to the king of cups so you could be in a relationship here with the um excuse me with this scorpio energy this king of cups oh yeah i'm looking at it too the emperor beside this king of wands and the moon and the wheel this was to switch out like to change your destiny somebody here was trying to convince you that this king of wands was your emperor and they're not it's this third party that tried to block this person's view of you and block your view of who this really this king of wands is okay they were made to be a, a, a emperor here mm. this I, I don't know that's weird as fuck to me but this nine of cups king of cups i feel like you wished for a king of cups kind of person and i feel like you met your match you could be in a relationship with this person currently somebody that matches your energy <coughs> and somebody could be watching you online with the hermit you i mean this could be you reflecting about the past like you're just reflecting because it's like damn you know i really made it <laughs> like it's a, it's an energy like that like i really done it in the work eight of pentacles you know i really got through a lot i've healed i did it kind of like energy but somebody here could be scared or they reminiscing about the past now they're trying to ghost you and shit because or they're trying to ghost just period. they're trying to be a ghost because it's just like you're in this relationship and it's meant to be whatever this is it's destined to be okay i'm also getting to this is reflective of this person, your catalyst twin that you could have been with, or whoever this king of wands is at some point, like this person could still be in love with you. Like they have deep hidden emotions for you, but they ghosted you. They ghosted you or something. It's like somebody thinking about uh, what could have been. I'm hearing Bryson Tiller. Oh no, that's her. We could have been. I think the song is called We Could Have Been. I'm not going to sing it because I don't know the words fully. But I'm hearing, uh, we could have been. I forgot how I go, but yeah, it's like could have, would have, should have, bitch. I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, what's the Eight of Swords? Some of you guys could be announcing a pregnancy here. Nine of Cups with the King of Cups. But I'm looking at it too. Let me see. Yeah, the page of wands. What's, what's this Nine of Cups right here? Because the Nine of Cups. Okay, the Hierophant. What's the Nine of Cups with the Hierophant? You got the Hierophant to the High Priestess. What's the Nine of Cups with the Hierophant? Some of y'all could be announcing an engagement or a pregnancy. What's the nine of cups with the hierophant? Yeah, look at that though. Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, it's kind of like I'm looking at that Queen of Cups, King of Cups right there. I mean, I feel like somebody was obviously in deep competition with you, trying to like stop you from getting this. Clearly, they they were. They don't want you to get married, have children. Like somebody here's just a jealous ass, hot tempered, slow ass hoe, real bad in competition. But I'm kind of looking at that Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Nine of Cups sideways because the Nine of Cups talks about someone that's sometimes when I'm looking at it or when I can feel the energy, it's like somebody that's self-absorbed. They only cared about themselves. And they knew it was something deep here, but they couldn't see it because either they were being attacked by this group or they, they stupid ass ex is Queen of Wands in reverse or what? Now somebody is doing the healing work or the shadow work because they see like what happened is what I'm getting. 
I don't really get that energy off that King of Wands right there. It's like they, I don't know. I guess they didn't know no better, but I don't know. Now somebody trying to attack this union because we got the Hierophant now with the High Priestess. <laughs> it's like, bitch, please. What's the Eight of Swords? Because they mad. This King of Wands could have broke up with this third party. And this Queen of Wands could be in the Two of Swords. They in denial. And they're attacking you because it's like, oh, bitch, it's your fault. No, bitch, it's your raggedy ass fault. <laughs> what the fuck? If you understand that, you know, not every relationship you're supposed to be clanging on tight to is not meant for you. Not every relationship you get in, most of them is not. Once you bitches learn that, then you wouldn't be sitting up here in this reading looking crazy as fuck. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords. What's the Eight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles? Yeah, now somebody's like reassessing things having some sort of awakening or whatever what's the eight of swords seven of pentacles if somebody is tripping about an investment that you're making or whatever fuck what's this eight of swords seven of pentacles somebody three of pentacles yeah that everything is fine mm. <laughs> who shall Now somebody look, looking at something. They they looking at how everything connected. Somebody is seeing how the con how the dots are connecting now. Seven of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. Who they work with, what they put time and effort into, what they've been investing into, and it got them scared. Eight of Swords. <coughs> and what they can potentially go to jail for. Like it's just like some shit is just hitting the fan. To be honest, some shit hitting the fan. Or a, a member of this group, this King of Wands, I don't know, it could be awakening to the, you know, this fact. Like, yeah, this is, wow. So, as soon as I opened the deck, I landed on witchcraft. Someone could be using magic to get their way and marry. Mm. Ciao. Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles talks about learning from your past mistakes, putting in the hard work, okay, making an effort, social gatherings, collaborations, teamwork. Seven of Pentacles. So somebody here is investing into working with other people to cause you to feel scared, nervous, paranoid, or to bind you in some sort of way. It's whoever this is that still feels feels like this is a good idea to attack you. Yeah, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. It's somebody here that still feels like this is a good idea. And they're gonna they gonna be the ones to get it first. <laughs> it's like because I said in the beginning, it's like, you know, bitch, cut it out. Somebody's telling someone to just stop doing what they're doing. Like just let it go. And they just won't they just won't let it go. They feel like it's still a good idea for them to still attack you. <laughs> well. Y'all hoes don't ever fucking learn here, child. Yeah, divine feminine. Heartbreaker, ghosted, walking away. Yeah, somebody here regret walking away to go be with a bitch that got a split personality. And I feel like you ended up letting them go. You know, I feel like you've been let this King of Pentacles go. But that King of Wands up there, they had a chance with you. But I feel like they lost their chance. Yeah, because of a distorted mask one. That's a fucking psycho. They got to move here. Somebody here could be moving. <laughs> or they trying to get the fuck away or something. Well, this, this person is realizing like who they've been dealing with. Who this King of Pentacles in reverse? Who this? <laughs> Yeah, somebody you glowed up on. Keep shining. Your light irritates their demons. Their toxic demons. Who does King of Pentacles? Yeah, walking away. 
confident. Yeah, you're confident and you're self-assured about walking away from this bitch. You glowed the fuck up on that ass. <laughs> you glowed up on that ass real bad. What's King of Pentacles in reverse? Give me a few more. Mm, yeah, divine union. Sacred union between two souls, a divinely guided connection. Coming together, two people on the same team. Copying your style. Someone likes how you dress, talk, look, etc. So much that they try to act like you. That could be the bitch that they with. Or this could be this person you're trying to copy you. They're in competition. Or this could be the stupid bitch that they, yeah, they in a toxic connection with. That's That they're mooching off of or using or whatever. I feel like, if, you know, if this King of Pentacles is with this Queen of Pentacles right here, this bitch is taking care of this hoe. This lazy ass King of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> they trying to move on with their bitch. So that way they won't lose. The <laughs> Child, yeah, broke marriage. That's what I'm saying. Like, get, get some fuck out of here. What's the King of Pentacles? 222 two, two on the clock. <laughs> Ooh, child. These people, yeah, more than friends. They got the little pride thing right here. So this person here could be bisexual or they could be on the down low. They could be gay. Or, yeah, then we got broke. It came out. <laughs> no money, can't pay bills, scraping up change to get by. Yeah, they broke. Okay. What's more than friends right here, spirit? Earth sign, yeah, we know it's an earth sign. What's more than friends? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, lonely in reverse. Oh, choices. Okay, yeah, so you could have made a choice. Okay, that could be you. You could be the earth sign. You watching for your Leo placements? Because I said both of y'all can have earth in your chart. You and this King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. So I feel like you made a decision and you chose to be more than friends with a particular person. It's King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Or whoever you're, you could be in a relationship currently with your uh, divine counterpart. Who does Queen of Wands in reverse? Fifth house. Okay, so they could have Leo in their chart. They could be a Leo. One's hobbies, interests, recreational and leisure activities. What one does for entertainment? What's Queen of Wands in reverse? Big ego in reverse, inflated sense of self, big, being self-centered, self-absorbed, thinking the world revolves around you. That's in reverse. Let's keep going. Let me see. Queen of Wands in reverse. No money, no talk in reverse. Not wanting to talk unless money is involved. Hustling, getting to the bag at all costs. Yeah, they lazy as fuck. <laughs> Somebody lazy as fuck. They gonna talk even if you ain't got no money. <laughs> like, or they gonna do some shit even if they are broke. They just stupid. What else? Or grown. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is you, grown. Not with the childish games, has priority straight, not willing to downgrade standards. So it's like you're not in your ego. You don't have a big ego. Okay, this is somebody here that's jealous of what you do for entertainment or for a living. You could be an entertainer for a living. This person here gets a kick out of picking with you and trying to like make you stoop down to their raggedy ass level, bitch. Absolutely not. You raggedy as fuck and you lame and you're lazy and you clearly you can't keep a fucking man. Somebody a dick that you're so pressed about. Like, get the fuck out of here. You're yeah, salty because you're intelligent. Girl, be serious. The fourth house in reverse. So it could be a cancer. Somebody could be a cancer Leo cusper. One sense of security, family, siblings, parents, ancestry, heritage, roots, one's housing and comfort. Yeah, they don't have that. And this fourth house is in reverse. It's all distorted. What else for this bitch up here? narcissist <laughs> inflated sense of self yeah they're the opposite of you the exact opposite inflated sense of self-importance complete disregard for another's feelings always needing attention and we got low-key in reverse yeah they loud as fuck they just like attention under the radar not giving yourself away being to yourself not causing attention yeah somebody's just loud they just lame as fuck and they trying to compete with you yeah, bitch anyways moving on you're embarrassing what's um Okay, yeah, okay, wow, that's what I'm saying. The high priestess with the magician in reverse, knight of cups, two of pentacles. Yeah, somebody here paid somebody to do that shit. They paid this person to date you. They paid somebody to date you to do to set you up like that. For sure. Or to, like I said, to confuse you about who's who and what's what. What's this magician in reverse, the high priestess, knight of cups, two of pentacles? What's all this? Clingy. Somebody that cannot let you go. 
ignored somebody that you ignored that's been clinging on to you this bitch over here this king of pentacles in reverse or somebody's doing this to this queen of i mean this king of wands too is this queen of wands in reverse so they one and the same that's why they they they're hooked up and work together this king of pentacles in reverse queen of wands in reverse and they think don't nobody know like bitch you're lame <laughs> moocher yeah someone who survives off another's income one who even if they have their own money will use someone else's first king of pentacles in reverse <laughs> who child what else so they paid this dark witch hoe to try to yeah, control the situation. Controlling. Someone thinks they can control you, the situation, or people in general. A tyrant. Spirituality hater. Hating on your beliefs. Not liking that you're untraditional. Uncomfortable with your spirituality. Yeah, they, you know, I'm, I'm saying in my head like, oh, now I got to pay somebody to fucking cloak my energy to hide, you know, what I'm trying to do to this bitch. Like, I, I got to do all this now because, oh, they're so spiritual now. They read the cards. <laughs> or they're they have witchy powers or they blah 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 like somebody here is so fucking stupid <laughs> I'm, I'm serious like they so stupid here what else for this magician in reverse carrying on <laughs> lust yeah it was something was sexual between you and somebody or something was sexual between these whatever this situation involves lust, passion, sexuality, physical attraction to you or someone. What else? It's like it's like they paid the perfect person too, because this king of wands could be fine as hell. I know when I was dating my false twin, I just used to be so like mesmerized by how he looked. Like you just look so good. <laughs> and it, I mean, I, he he looked nice to this day. He do. You know what I'm saying? I don't follow none of them. I don't give a fuck. You know, because that's back there. <laughs> like I don't. Child, I'm happy as hell right now. But I'm just saying, like, it just making me, this is reminding me of my own shit. Yeah, gold digger and purpose. Somebody here is a fucking moocher. It's this broke-ass bitch here in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. Like, they love to fucking mooch off other women. And they thought they was going to do that shit to you. They got mad as hell. And was like, well, bitch, you're not going to let me mooch off of you. Then I'm going to get somebody to do magic on you because I'm going to take from you any fucking way. Now they ass sitting in spiritual jail because they fucking, they, they stole it. They was like, well, if you don't give it to me, I'm going to just pay somebody to take it from you. This person has lost their fucking mind. They lost their mind. <laughs> yeah, caught in the act. Exactly. Yeah, caught in the act and balling and glowed up. Yeah, so somebody here got caught in the act trying to take some shit from you. It's like, bitch, you embarrassing as fuck. I, I can't. But yeah, I was just, I was just saying though, y'all. Like, it's just funny. It's funny. What else? Who this um who who this emperor and the king? What's them? I mean, who that? Toxic ways, yeah. Bad habits, addictions, can't stay away from harmful substances. Mm -hmm. Ninth house. This situation involves someone's belief systems, religion, and ideologies, higher learning, travel, and philosophies. <laughs> jealous wants the one you're with no limits nothing can stop them yeah continues on without restriction going their own way yeah i feel like this is you pushing through all this damn warfare <laughs> you still move forward this person been jealous of you and they get other people that's jealous of you too to talk shit about you and do spell work on you all kind of shit what else jealous this this excuse me queen of wands is jealous that's who's jealous and they still try to attack you to this day to confuse you about this damn king of wands. You know who the fuck this is. Yeah, self-love, <laughs> money issues, queen bee, year projecting. What else? <laughs> Shady, giving the impression of dishonesty, questionable, suspicious, untrustworthy, blocked, given no access, no updates out of the loop, and lies being spread. Fake rumors have been going around about you or the situation. All lies, no facts. Child. They lied. This kid, I feel like it's, it's this bitch right here, man. That's who you really need to be looking at. Your ex, they raggedy as hell. That's a raggedy little bitch. A little broke bitch at that. Real bad. <laughs> okay. Because you blocked them. Somebody here spread lies about you and they got into 
this bitch overheard it because they stay in drama so i'm pretty sure they they know about the latest gossip this this kind of bitch that ain't got no fucking money but in everybody's face and fighting and carrying on they act like a ratchet little bitch that's what they act like just period that's what they are <laughs> okay no sugarcoating it. it it is what it is you ratchet as fuck raggedy just lame and this this is an older bitch 25 30 25 to 35 queen of wands it's like girl get your get your life together you raggedy as hell and then got the nerve to either either they doing the magic or they paying somebody to do it but either way though it's like <clears throat> oh shall what's this is not a wands in reverse so i can go i've been on here for too long yeah evidence and intelligence yeah you see who who's in competition with you yeah you're woke as fuck you see who's in competition with you you have evidence on who's doing what Six house in reverse could be a Virgo. <laughs> what someone does routinely, their responsibilities, their skills and training, their employment or job. Yeah, somebody ain't got no fucking job. <laughs> what they do routinely is what? Knight of Wands, you in reverse. Attack you constantly. In your union or whatever. Yeah, and you sitting up here rich as fuck. <laughs> Having abundance, material wealth, financial stability and security. These are people that ain't got no fucking job. Y'all embarrassing. Yeah, unimpressed. <laughs> it's like you are just like so out of the loop you don't give a fuck about none of them yeah because you're an earth angel it's like you got bigger shit to do bigger fish to fry it's like bitch you bitches ain't frying no kind of fish you don't cook you don't clean you don't wipe your ass probably <laughs> definitely don't do that bitch just sloppy and raggedy and fucking ratchet that's what i hope you bitches see this today and you heard what i said <laughs> Don't get mad, bitch. Be a fucking better bitch. Don't be a bitter bitch. Be better. <sighs> so, this was your reading, Leo. I hope this resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.